Show, episode number 8. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and joining me today is Emilio Daniel. What up, G? Yo! Yo, dog. What did you do today? Yeah, well, I heard you like art on wall, so I put art on my wall while, so you can... <laughs> that didn't work. Well, um, so basically you just drew art on your wall then? No, 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 no. I had a party. We did a party, so that it was party section. Oh, so it was a party on your wall then? Uh, well, I guess, I guess, yeah, it was a party on my wall. I, I had a party on my wall. Yeah. Pinky would be proud of you. Yeah? Guess what I did today? You got naked and ran in the street drunken? Um, no, I did the second best thing. I played Diablo 3. Oh my god! How was it, man? How was it? How was it? It was like Diablo 2 times 10 years. <laughs> okay. It's like, is that a good or a bad thing? Really, really good. And it's still in beta. And I have to say, I enjoy it. I'm throwing my money at the screen right now. <laughs> well, you can throw your money at the screen on May 15. That's when the game <laughs> come out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, let's move on to the next topic. Um... <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, um, not really a topic, but um, this week's guest is no one. I uh, I feel at getting someone to come on the show. Huh. Oh. Forever alone this week. Um, looks like it, unless there's a special guest that's coming that I don't know of. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, let's do some housekeeping. So, Emilio. How's your charity project going? We're giving the artists some time to work out their own songs. I mean, we're, we've been giving feedback to the rest of the artists who recently submitted songs. And uh, so far, we have around nine songs. So we're still working on it. And we're aiming to have 13 songs, I guess. That's cool. Anyway, um, let's move on to news topic. In today's news topic, Notch admits to lacking My Little Pony friendship is magic. In a recent interview on geekaweek.net, Notch was asked, is there anything you secretly geek out about? And his answer was, I try to explain that I don't like the new My Little Pony show, but I secretly kind of do. Link of the whole interview can be found in the show notes. Geekaweek podcast with Minecraft's Mark The guy who created Minecraft likes watching ponies. Yeah, so uh, can we expect any pony updates to it? <laughs> no, no. Um, here's the deal with everything strange. There's a trifecta. There's a trinity of things that need to happen. Okay, we got Gabe Newell in meeting. He was a brony. Now we got Notch. And who is the third person in the gaming universe that's going to admit they, that they love watch ponies? Gabe Newell. He already did last week. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. I got this. Hideo Kojima. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Um, I would love to see Ryan hanging around with a pony, man. I would love to see that. <laughs> oh, no. You just made me imagine Ryan riding on Rainbow Dash. <laughs> no, 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 no. Imagine Snake creeping up to Twilight. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, alright. So, who is it? Who, who will it be? I got no idea. Um, Let's see. Gabe New. Um, Notch. Who's big right now? Who's big in the gaming industry? Well, uh, there's that, uh, wow. Yay. I forgot. I forgot his name, but he's basically the guy who, who started the Zelda series. Oh, um, he, um, he did. His name is popping up quite a lot right now, so yeah. Who is yeah. he? Um, oh, we're gonna get hate mail if we don't know the guy's name. Hang on, hang on, I'm thinking, uh, Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, I got it. Shigeru Miyamoto, yes! Ah, yes. yes but he's sorry. Japanese, so... Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there was that flutter child. Yeah. Like oh, well, let's hope so he... Well, <laughs> if he does admit to being a brony, like, oh my god, <laughs> the trifecta is complete. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that, that would actually... I would feel proud to meet you again. Because right now I'm ashamed. <laughs> okay, uh, anything else in this zone we need to mention? Um, I don't think so. Well, 
Um, we know Notch is a brony and he like it. And so it's Gabe Newell. Let's move on. The ultimate shipping chart. Having trouble with your fanfic? Need a pony to be shipped with another pony? Look no further! Here we have the most robust pony shipping chart. Every pairing is here, from the obvious pairing to the most obscure pairing. Links to the chart can be found in the show notes. So, Emilio. Yeah, I'm looking at this chart right now, actually, and it is crazy. I have a hard time looking at it. Like, it's squiggly line with squiggly line, pairing with other squiggly lines. (laughs) That's just too many colors, and... It's like, what? Even a rainbow doesn't have this many colors. <laughs> oh, true, true. But anyway, um, this guide is kind of, well, I said robust. Uh, I just have a question. Why are you paired with a tree? Oh, um, there was this one fanfic thing about Tom and that tree. Who's that tree's name? I forgot it. Oh, yeah. Raven? No. I forgot the tree's name. You remember that one episode where Applejack brought... Yeah, Applejack had to get the tree to her, her town. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know, but they had a fan fiction about it. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and I got no idea, but it's, well, it's there. I wish we had somebody here who knows fanfic to talk about with. Like, Milo, do you write fanfics? Um, well, I'm, I'm okay with fanfics, but I'm more of the type that would, watch a, that would like to watch a fanfic rather than read one. Ah, okay. Like, for example, the the adventures of Doctor Who's and Assistant. Ah. Yeah, I love that one, man. That, that is still my favorite movie. Really. I, I, I love the little canon bits they put in. It's like, it's just nice. Did you listen to that one called Number 12? Number 12? Oh, crap. Uh, okay, no. I didn't think so. Well, it's the Doctor and Assistant. Um, The Assistant is Twilight Sparkle. And it's a good listen. Oh, okay. Alright. I'll check that out soon. And... Well, maybe post what I think about it. Well, if you're a fanfic writer and need to pair some pony with some other ponies, but you got no idea who, look at this chart and you'll probably get an inspiration. On to the next story! Pony Platforming Project 3, Minty Fresh Adventure. Do you love video games? Do you love ponies? Obviously, you do. Like, you don't say. Well, if the answer is yes, this will pique your interest. The folks at Pony... Project have made a pretty interesting side story pony game. Link to the pony platform project can be found in the show notes. And at www.dragon-mango.com uh, I put pony And, oh, hang on. Hello? Yeah, um, your voice is really far. What happened? Uh, okay, yeah, I think it's your turn. Uh, my turn. We didn't talk anything about the game. Alright, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, uh, back up, back up, because my daddy thought it did. Okay, okay. So, uh, no, my, what do you think about this pony game? It's a side school, so I'm expecting it to look like Mega Man. <laughs> well, that's the first thing I thought too. Um, I tried to play the game, and, well, it's kind of fun. Well, but, like, I mean, how does it work? I mean, mm. side school The whole game works like a basic platformer with your jump and attack. And the attack is just basically a sword kind of weapon where you stab a person. But Minty or Colgate weapon is a toothbrush. <laughs> okay, that is super cute. A huge toothbrush. I'm not joking you. She attack a creature with that toothbrush and she can even throw the toothbrush like a boomerang. Oh, wow. And the cool thing is if you press jump and attack at the same time, you have her do one of her ability or magic. And that ability is to stop time. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. And um, do you watch Carmen Raida? Duh! Um, and she... <laughs> I forgot which one, but they did... Um, they used the sound bit for one Carmen Raida where they say, uh, Clock on. Oh, right. Uh, that would... Uh, hang on. Hang on. Let me get this. I need to get this. Uh... Spies! 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 Ah. Yes! It's Spies! Kamen Rider Spies! Anyway, they did that sound bit and it was so cool. I geeked out like, Oh my god, that's so cool! They're using that! Fuck on you! <laughs> it's kind of a fun game. Definitely need to check that out, see? Yeah, you should try it out. I will, I will. Don't worry, I will. On to the next topic. My Little Lego Pony. Friendship is building magic. If you want the My Little Pony Lego to be a reality, 
here is what you need to do. Vote for it. The MLP Lego project needs 10,000 votes to make it a reality. After the project gets 10,000 votes, Lego will try and make it a reality. Link to the Lego My Little Pony Friendship is Magic can be found in the show notes. So, Emilio, you like playing with Legos? I'm voting right now, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> they need 10,000 votes and they even had a message from the Lego Kuso team saying that if they can get 10,000 votes, they'll apply for licensing the product. Yeah, I, vo- I, I just voted, I just voted. I voted, people. Thank you, man. You're welcome. I really want a Lego. I mean, like, I haven't played with Legos in years. Like, I'm looking at the concept right now, and that's really cute, actually. That's really cute. I, I would buy the whole set immediately. And it's something that we as guys can buy without making ourselves look like fools. <laughs> yeah, me already did that. <laughs> <laughs> well, same here. Oh. <laughs> anyway, um, what do you think? Uh, voted, so I think go ahead, man. Please, please bring it faster. Couldn't agree more. So, uh, I mean, it's, it looks like it's going quite steady. There's about 4,000 votes already. So, come on, guys. We can do this. We need this. You know you want it. We're almost halfway there. Yep, yep. Please do, please do. On to the next topic. Daniel Ingram, interview on the Rolling Stone. Wow. Our favorite coding music composer Daniel Ingram recently did an interview with the Rolling Stone. In the interview, he was asked about his views on the Rolling community and his music change with the knowledge of the new demographic. The link to the Rolling Stone interview can be found in the show. Wow, Daniel Ingram interview on Rolling Stone, that is an honor, man. To get an interview on them, that's, that's an honor. It's basically Rolling Stones, they're... Cool. I mean, they're mainstream, but the thing is, it's not easy to get on the Rolling Stones, especially if you're a cartoon composer like him. Everyone who ever gets interviewed there is pretty much being honored in the simplest way possible. And so like, true. if a band gets on the front cover of Rolling Stone magazine, you are on it for life, man, right there. You don't need a rock and roll hall of fame, you just need that. And guess what? Tombstone LXS got a mention on the Rolling Stone page. Yep, totally seeing it right now. Pretty cool. I know. Even though you're not there, getting a mention from Rolling Stones, that's cool. Yep, very cool, man. What do you think of the interview and stuff? Because when I read it, it was kind of cool. He was surprised. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I think pretty much everyone on the development team did not expect it to boom up this thing. But <laughs> I, I think in all, in all honesty, everyone on the team deserves it, including Daniel Ingram. And yeah, totally, it was like, I've actually been reading a, uh, a lot of Rolling Stone interviews, so it's like, to me, everyone who gets interviewed is pretty much just, yeah, man, you're there, you're there. If you look at the picture of Daniel Ingram, he's cool. <laughs> he looks cool, yeah. <laughs> like, that pony right there. <laughs> that hair. Who is she? She doesn't look like Pinkie Pie. It kind of looks like an old pony, a weekly pony, actually. <laughs> Don't think so. Uh, it... It might be a platter, uh, I mean, it might be a pinky pie, like, fashion a bit differently. Hmm, could be. But his favorite pony is Applejack, so, hmm. <laughs> so, on to email time. Email time! Let's see, who should read this? I, I guess I should read it. Okay, since you were not here last week, and I think uh, this is set for you. I'll make up for last time, okay. Um... Dear non Joey and my long lost twin brother. <laughs> Before I start, Emilio, why you no co host episode 7? <laughs> well, um, I'm not gonna answer that. I'll just leave that blank right there. <laughs> okay, on to the email. I had a great time on the show last week. Go host to an awesome show. I hope being long winded as hell didn't leave too much editing for you to do. In fact, I love the show very much. In bracket, probably from the euphoria of giving my own voice sound so good. <laughs> probably thanks to awesome editing. In fact, I love the episode so much, I had the team featured in on lines, podcasts, and MPS returning the favor. Now, you have the bragging rights to say you're on iTunes. The link is right there in the email time. The effort you all put into this is really huge contribution to all those companies. We are really, really want to take to all this beautiful country on the world map. Though it's quite the challenge to get bodies to come out of their shell, especially in a country like this. 
these people like you all who help to give back to the community with what we have received from the show, and that is what I think all Goni should stand for. Kudos, and I hope to hear more awesome stuff too. Keep the love of Goni and Goni on, Daniel. And Oh, thanks, Daniel. Uh, glad you enjoyed your time here. We could uh, have called you on, but hey, we no, had no guests. <laughs> uh, anyway, besides the why you know on episode seven, Emilio, um, I don't think we can answer anything. Like this is just a thank you letter. All right, yeah, sadly. Yeah, uh, you're welcome, and we had a great time with you too. Yay! No way. Well. No guess means short episode, I think. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at show at gmail.com. And if you would like to reach me on Twitter, I'm at Norman Sanzo. And Emilio? I'm at King of Cuteness. So I've been your host, Norman Sanzo. And I'm Emilio Daniel. I'm very naked, Oh, the fans don't need to hear that. Yes, they need. Uh, anyway, um, I'll see you next week. Bye! <laughs>